Meghan Markle once reportedly found the perfect present for the late Queen Elizabeth, despite the monarch being probably one of the hardest people to buy a gift for. Just months after Prince Harry and Meghan got engaged, Meghan gifted the Queen a singing toy hamster, which the Queen's beloved corgis went on to maul to pieces, reports The Mirror. According to the Daily Star, Her Majesty was so delighted with the present that she burst out laughing, before remarking, It can keep my dog's company. A source said, Meghan bought a little hamster that sings with a little rope for Her Majesty. It was so funny, especially when the corgis tried to take hold of the toy reports the mirror. On Christmas Eve the royal family often give each other presents as a reference to their German lineage and it's thought that they do jokey gifts as they already have everything they could ever want or need. The source revealed that they have a traditional way of arranging their presents, too. They said, the gifts were on trestle tables in the white drawing room where the names were at each table for each family. Many traditions the Queen introduced prior to her death were kept going once she had passed, including King Charles inviting his family to Sandringham during the festive season. The Prince and Princess of Wales joined the King and Queen Camilla as did Charles' siblings Princess Anne, Prince Edward. Royal Christmases also feature a morning trip to St. Mary Magdalene Church, the greeting of well-wishers, and a family lunch with turkey and all the trimmings. Charles also pre-recorded his historic, first-ever Christmas broadcast as monarch, when he reflected on the loss of his mother and her legacy. Traditionally, members of the royal family sit down to watch the televised address when it airs after lunch, usually at 3 p.m. on December 25th. Windsor Castle is also transformed for Christmas, with a 20-feet tree in St. George's Hall decorated in 3,000 lights and hundreds of regal purple ribbons. It takes a team of four staff from the Royal Collection Trust two days to dress the Berkshire Royal Residence's festive trees. Tourists visiting the state apartments can see the rooms transformed with shimmering trees, twinkling lights and festive garlands. A handmade angel sits on top of St. George's Hall's towering Nordman fir, which was sourced from nearby Windsor Great Park. The Christmas color scheme at the castle is chosen by Royal Collection Trust curators together with the exhibition's team, and this year the central tree features purple velvet and satin ribbons and scores of jewel-shaped ornaments. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.